Bob, I guess these are classified as toys, but I like them too. <laughs> well, I refer to them as, as toys for all kind of boys and girls of any age, but uh, especially someone who has worked in construction or is a log hauler, these fit right in with what they do. Here, this is a good example. I'll let you pick that up. Uh, of the log hauler. This is a, I refer to this as the Kentucky log hauler. <laughs> and that's from an, is that, yeah, that's from a, just sycamore a little tree. Little sycamore tree. How about that? Yeah. And, and this is uh, my version of a uh, white uh, Freightliner truck. Now everything is functional too. It, it all moves. Yes, I, I made this so that it, uh, you can see the cylinders that go in and out and, and operates the boom up and down. And they represent hydraulic cylinders. Hmm. And here we have some gentleman who has an excavating service and he's gone somewhere and found a load of scrap wood that he's gonna deliver to, to somebody for their furnace. He's probably loaded it with that backhoe that's on the trailer. <laughs> and there's and, all the wood and it's loose yeah, in there. That wood is loose in there. The, the dump truck is also functional. Uh, the bed raises and will dump like that. Every one of these has started out basically as a block of wood like that and, and some flat boards. Uh, this is poplar wood, this is cherry. And as you see here, the light color is poplar, the darker color is cherry wood. Well, can we see how some of it is made on the power tools? Sure. And that's gonna become what? That'll become a train wheel. Okay. It will when it's completed it will look like this or I can install spokes in it to make it look like that. <laughs> That's fantastic work. It's it's a lot of fun. It takes a lot of time but as you know I'm retired and I have not much money but a lot of time. You know that helps. Um to have that kind of time. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> you know that's why that's why that I take up all these hobbies and I uh, pretty dangerous at them because I have I, I work too and I don't have time to get good at it. If you have the time and the tools and the desire you can do any of this. This started out as a square billet of wood and it's been turned in the lathe and these indentations are on here to represent the straps that hold a saddle tank on a semi tractor and there will be a small hole drilled here and a little pin inserted to represent the fuel pipe on the, on the gas tank. That's how accurate you are to the real thing. I mean, uh, I, tr I try to be as accurate as I can to, uh, so that it's a, an accurate representation of the real thing. This block of wood ends up as the hood for this Mack truck. Okay. It comes through this table saw. The blade is tipped at the proper angle. The rip fence is set at the proper width. Comes through there comes through again, gets, you end up with this shape, and, and all you need then is the, the uh, top part and the grill, and the fenders go up against it, and it becomes a Mack truck. Bob, you were telling me you spent your career as an electrician and an auctioneer in northern Indiana. Up where it's cold, yeah. and when, uh, when the water to my chicken house froze, I told my wife, I said, I spent my last winter in Indiana, let's go south. We ended up here in Casey County and we love it here and we'll spend the rest of our lives right here in Casey County. A considerable difference in wintertime temperatures? And yes, uh, uh, I haven't, uh, none of my underground water has froze up <laughs> since I've been here. Also, I wanted to mention before we close, uh, you do other things besides these beautiful toys yes. or miniature trucks and whatnot. But yes, you I, I like for... to build furniture and I like to restore furniture. This is an old Victorian style curio cabinet that was brought to me in pieces. And everything that you see new on here is something that I've made 
that uh, was missing off of it. And, uh, the doors were all tore apart and it's just been a large restoration project, but I enjoy doing it. And you build the beautiful furniture from scratch, yes. the rocking uh, chair and that. Yes, I, I like to build furniture, but this is my first love uh -huh. is these because I worked in construction years ago and uh, I just, I've been around this kind of stuff for a long time. I want to say thank you for giving us a great tour of your wood shop and showing us a little bit of how you do it. Well, Dave, I appreciate you taking the time to come down here and feature my stuff. Uh, and uh, uh, you're welcome back here anytime. And can I get a free lesson or two? Absolutely. Uh, you come down here sometime when the weather's nice and you and I'll build something. I like that idea. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you are most welcome, Dave.